This is TJ. In this video, I want to show you five websites that you can use for finding and downloading free textbooks legally. These websites are freebookspot.es, archive.org, gutenberg.org, bookboon.com, and wikibooks.org. And again, all of these are free resources for downloading textbooks that, it, that are legal to use. So if you're a student, you're at university, you can search by ISBN number, search by author, by the title of the book. Um, maybe you'll find your textbook available for free. If you're a teacher, you can choose to have uh, a textbook that all of your students, you can just give them a link to it and they can download this textbook for free. So hopefully uh, you find these resources useful. I'll download a textbook from each one of these and show you how it's done. So this first one, freebookspot.es. Um, again, you can search for a specific book, or you can just click on their catalog here on the left-hand side. You can search by in different categories. They have books on engineering, foreign language textbooks, um, photography, poetry, religion, science, technology, sports. So if we click on um, science, we've got different things here. Um, it breaks down. We can do, there's like mathematics, medicine. Um, we can do chemistry, geology. So then we look through the geology books. So we've got the author title. This is what the cover of the books look like. We have this one here on biomining, printed in 2006. Um, if we go down, here's one on clays. So I'll click on this one. What it does, it takes us to a, a couple different places we can download this book from. So this ha happens to have two sources. So it tells us all the information about the book. It's PDF format, so you can just read it on a, any computer. will be able to read it. Um, you can also do it on mobile devices or things like that. Um, and then for this one, there's a password to download it from this URL link, or we can do this one, justfile.net. So I'll do this bottom one first, justfile.net. Now, this is like a, a file hosting website. And so to download this, they it's really tricky, but you have to go all the way to the bottom here and click slow download at this particular website. And then what it does, you see this tiny little kind of lightly fading number. 23, 22, 21, so it's counting down until we can download um, this file. That's kind of the downside of this. There's lots of different sites like this. You're probably familiar with them. They try and they have the advertisements, and so it tries to kind of frustrate you and just be like, I'll just pay 99 cents, which you can do, and, and then it gives you like, you can download books quicker and things like that, but I just wait for the free one, and then I, I have to type in this uh, security code, so S-A-L-A-H-O. R space Q U A R R E L. Slow download. Uh, maximum number of free downloads exceeded. Oh, I, I should try again in 21 minutes because I, I did this about uh, 15 minutes ago when I was preparing for this video. So that's the other downside is you can only do like one every 45 minutes or one every hour or something like that. Anyway, so that's uh, that's that site. I'll click back here. So that's freebookspot.es. This next one, archive.org, doesn't have those limitations. You can just download directly. There's no funny business going on. Just click on text. Um, and then you just search for what you want to book on. So if I want to book on calculus, is that how you spell calculus? Um, it always has all these different books on calculus. I could search by author again. Um, but if I just click on this one here, this is, so it's under the category open source textbooks. And I can just kind of preview the book right here online and then if I want to download it over here on the left hand side we'll just click we can do a PDF version we can do a version for the Kindle we can do EPUB we can just get the plain text the full, full text version show some different options here oh actually this does have some limitations Creative Commons we have to attribute the author if we if we we can actually change this text. We can modify the textbook because it's open source, which is really cool. So if we don't like one of the sections, we can actually change it and modify it and then redistribute it. But we have to pre release it under a Creative Commons license, and we can't sell it. So I can't change this, this textbook and then try and resell it. Okay, so that's the uh, internetarchive.org and their textbooks. And if we click on open source textbooks here, they're broken down into different, different categories too. Engineering, there's 320, there's 134 English textbooks, there's 188 math, history, so art, biology, business. Okay, um, moving on to the next one, Gutenberg.org. So the Gutenberg Project, they um, archive and index a whole bunch of public domain books. And so we can also just search, we can search in the catalog or we can search for a certain type of book like we did before, like calculus, or I can do um, biology. Or something, I should have done something more specific, I guess. 
Um, so we have all these different books um, on the origins of species, history of insects. Um, if I can click on bookshelves here, and I can look, there's a biology bookshelf that has, how many did it say? Like 700 books or something. Um, so if I go back, uh, just go back to the main page and click on uh, search catalog. Nope, click on book categories actually. Um, then I can look at the bookshelf. So we've got these different subcategories here. I have an education bookshelf. Um, I have one on like um, psychology and philosophy, religion, science. Here's a science bookshelf. So then I have astronomy, biology, mathematics, um, physics. So under the physics we have all these different things. Thermodynamics, mechanics, relativity, nuclear physics. And then if I want to do one on nuclear physics, which I probably don't, probably wouldn't understand, but EPUB. So I can download EPUB, Kindle version, plain text version. Um, I just click on it to download it. See? I can save it right to my computer. Okay, moving on. And did we down did we I didn't download one from this last site, but I showed you how to. Okay, this next one, bookboom.com. To search, we'll go here on the left-hand side, and we can look at the different categories of books that they have. So we can do accounting, engineering, IT and programming, uh, marketing and law, natural sciences. So if I just click on, um, we'll do accounting. It shows me all the accounting textbooks. Oh, once it loads. So the accounting textbooks, I've got basics of accounting and information processing, uh, managerial and cost accounting. So if there's a textbook I want here, um, let's do uh, introduction to managerial accounting. So it, to it told me it's a PDF format. Here's the ISBN number. Um, but to download it, the only thing about BookBoon is they want some information from you first. So you need to put in an email address, tell them whether you're working or studying, um, what study program you're doing, if you're studying, like what kind of program you're in, and then the university that you're at. Then click Download. And then you can download the book. That's the only thing. They want some information from you first. And this last one, wikibooks.org, is actually online textbooks. And it's sort of the same concept of, uh, as Wikipedia in that these books are built by, um, or written by the community and just anyone who wants to write, write and edit the book. So if we got to have a book here like this one, The Fundamentals of Transportation. So this has all these different um, things, but it's not, we can download the whole book. If I go down to the bottom, we can download a PDF version, but it's kind of um, designed to be used online. So if we click on this thing under planning and modeling, then it'll give us sort of this chapter on planning and modeling. And here's all the information about it. Um, but again, we can download the whole PDF, and so ha we have an offline version. We could print a version of it. Um, but that's how Wikibooks works. And so it's you're not going to find things by ISBN number. You're not going to find a specific book you're looking for. But there is a lot of good information on here. And since it's all open source, you can modify these books that you find. You can help contribute to Wikibooks. You can write your own textbooks. Um, yeah, so that's Wikibooks. Well, hopefully this has been uh, informative for you. You can check out some of my other videos here on my channel on YouTube. Um, also, you're going to want to use um, probably a program called Calibre. Uh, I can pull that up real quick too. If you're doing um, much with lots of ebooks and textbooks, um, Calibre is an ebook manager. And so you can import uh, your books into Calibre and then you can read them. If they're in like an EPUB or Mobi format, you can read them on here without having to put them onto a, a mobile reader. And you can also change formats and do some tagging and editing and stuff like that. So check out Calibre. It's a free program. Um, great if you're working with textbooks or ebooks on computers. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Check out my other ones. Um, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.